Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I'm a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project. Today we're making over my husband's coffee bar. We got this beautiful vintage dresser for $20 off of Facebook Marketplace. And originally I had it in mind to use in one of the bedrooms, but it was in really rough shape. We're talking like the drawers <laughs> do not want to close nicely. So you kind of have to work to open and close them. The dresser was just so beautiful, had such good bones, such a beautiful shape to it that we were like, wait, we don't want to just get rid of this. Let's use this for his coffee bar. And this dresser really fit this space that we have in our kitchen perfectly. It's the right size. It's a fun piece to kind of add to a kitchen. So we loved it, but it just needed a little bit of love. So before we jump into things, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfates 22 Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe. We're doing this fun rental made home series lately. And if you like this sort of thing, I know you guys will enjoy the other videos as well. Okay, without further ado, let's get into making over this little coffee bar. Here is what the space looks like. Not too much is really gonna change. Mostly we just wanna update this dresser, hang some art, but of course I'm taking you guys along for this process. So what we did to this dresser, we really went back and forth trying to decide if we should strip it or sand it. The finish was already kind of chipping off that I thought it should be easy enough to sand. I'm not a huge fan of stripping furniture. Now I don't have too much experience, but it's kind of a messy process. And I think sanding seems easier to me. I guess it is a little bit more muscle work than stripping, but if you guys have opinions about like sanding furniture, when to strip furniture, if you are like very knowledgeable in this area, just comment down below, share some knowledge. We're definitely learning. We are not professional furniture <laughs> refinishers. So we're kind of learning as we go, but I decided to sand this whole piece down. Now I'm really proud of myself because my husband, he's been helping me with a lot of projects. He's been helping me with my YouTube. You guys might have seen, he's actually editing all my videos for me lately. So I hope you guys have been enjoying his edits. It seems that you have. And of course he's just been doing so much around the house. DIYing during this season um, of life. For this dresser, I actually had a little bit of time and the willpower to sand it down. So I'm really proud that I sanded this thing down like 90% by myself. <laughs> and it was very like therapeutic. Maybe like in this newborn season, having any sort of like time alone to just do a project felt very rewarding. So I really enjoyed sanding, which I've never really enjoyed before. Yeah, I sanded them down. I had to like re-sand these drawers twice. The first time really got off the finish, but then the second time kind of had to balance out the wood. You guys can kind of see in this video. Really tried to strip down to the raw wood and this beautiful natural color. Once this dresser was all sanded, all we had to do was put it back in place. We were going to put like a wax finish on it, but it was sold out at the store. And so we ordered it online and it's not coming till next week, <laughs> but we really wanted to get this video out. So we are going to seal it. The wood's looking a little bit dry, but it's also a super old dresser. So I don't know. Again, comment below if you guys kind of have advice. The wood looks a little thirsty. So I think the wax will help that. I hope. And obviously the wax will give it a protective finish. So we're excited to kind of get the wax on once that arrives in the mail. My husband set back up his coffee situation. All that was left is to put some art up. Adding art to this space really brought it to life, makes it feel home. I feel like once you put something on the wall, I feel like it really finishes this space. My husband is super happy with it. I thought it would be fun to end this video with him making coffee for you guys, enjoying his new coffee bar. Do you guys remember what our little coffee bar looked like before? And here it is now.
I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyface22. Comment down below and let me know, are you a coffee drinker or a tea drinker? My husband's a coffee drinker. I love chai tea. Love it. Let me know below. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye. Should I say, uh, oh wait, wait, I need to do the reveal. Okay, so, <sighs> do you guys remember what our little coffee bar looked like before?